Alright you guys, welcome to this drawing session. I'm going to be showing you how I go about doing my concept art and uh, just kind of the workflow. So I'm going to be explaining um, everything as I go through it. So with that being said, we're just going to jump right into it. So um, you guys can pick whatever size canvas you want uh, for this. Um, so yeah, it's completely up to you. Um, now here's the thing. Most of the time when I'm drawing, I do not like for my canvas to be completely all white. I feel like it's very harsh on my eyes, and so I usually change the color to something that I feel like I'll be able to kind of tolerate a little bit more. So, um, so let's see. So let's just play around with some different colors and just kind of find something that you can actually kind of visualize the artwork popping out to you on. So I kind of like kind of like that color right there so you can find something that works for you i just don't like the the harshness of just like the the plain white canvas so now that we have that selected what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab one of my favorite brushes now is this one right here the clay roller now i have that listed in favorites but um it's it's in the original um, brushes that come in um, Infinite Painter. So it's not a downloaded brush, this is just a stock brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw um, my idea for a character. Now I have a concept in my head and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go with it and I'm just gonna show you how I go about creating that. So um, a lot of times I just like to use uh, um, like just rough uh, paints and like bigger uh, bigger sizes instead of starting off with something small. So I like to just get that fill and just kind of go through um, some different sizes just to see what I feel comfortable with. So when I'm talking about like small, I don't like starting off like this. I just, I don't know, it's not me. So what I prefer is to start off a little bit thicker, kind of like that. Cause I feel like um, when I start with a, a thicker kind of a brush for me it feels like the drawing comes together um, a lot easier so what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, start off with just kind of a, a basic form or uh, kind of some a little bit of action for like where how the pose of the character is going to be so for instance um, you know, like you want to figure that out before you start putting all of the the, the, the building blocks onto um, the drawing. So here's what I here's what I do. So I like to start off. We're gonna draw like a pretty pretty cool looking character. So I'm just kind of start off right here, and then I'll just draw kind of a little line across now this is going to kind of represent like where the shoulders are and then this right here this will kind of be like the waist area and I'm just going to move that a little bit move that down this will kind of be like where the character's legs are coming down and then for the arms kind of what I want to do is I kind of want to make them I'm trying to visualize this in my head so I kind of want the character to be doing something kind of cool so we'll put one arm Kind of down like this we'll put one arm coming out kind of like so and then the other arm will have this one coming out uh or actually well let's see what would be a better pose let's do let's do the other arm kind of like this right here so almost the same kind of the same kind of pose thing going on just a little bit different Okay, so believe it or not, that's kind of where I start. So I kind of start off with that. And then uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll draw like, I'll just start doing like a little bit of form, just kind of making these a little bit thicker. So when I start building onto it, it's not so small. So I'll just kind of just make things thicker just a little bit. So now this is going to be kind of like a, um, kind of like a big armored character so that's why i'm just making these a little bit more thick so and it does not have to worry too much about it being um all fancy with everything being in place because 
I just do this just to kind of get um, get my fill for it, and then I just start to build out from there. So, and then with the head, I'm kind of envisioning like a kind of a, a different type of helmet. That's kind of um, it's kind of like a helmet that's more connected to like the chest area of the armor. So, so practically, it's this is kind of like I'm creating a silhouette of the of the character. So if you can kind of see. It's already kind of starting to come together. Now, I kind of want to put really big, uh, <laughs> really big guns in his hands. So we'll just start off with maybe like a, a kind of a cool shape. I'll just kind of do that. And then with the other hand, I want to put a gun in this hand or maybe we'll put, uh, yeah, we'll put, why not? We'll just put, maybe we'll put a different type of gun though. So maybe this one will be like a little bit smaller. Or maybe not smaller, maybe it should be like a shotgun or something. I think that'd be kind of cool. Some type of some type of little shotgun or something. So okay, so we have that. And oops, sorry. So we kind of have that. I still feel like maybe I'll make this chest area a little bit bigger. And then this area just a little bit bigger as well. Okay. So that's what we'll do. And uh, one last thing, I kind of want the, I'm feeling like the armor should have like on the shoulders, we'll have like really big um, shoulder pads. So yeah, so I'm sure you guys can kind of already tell just from this, the silhouette that we've got going on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a brand new layer. So we're gonna make a new layer right there. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select white because I believe I think it will look cool for this uh, concept or this character to have kind of like white armor with some um, black kind of mixed throughout it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here and start kind of messing around with with the head piece. So I'm just kind of sketching sketching all of this and sometimes what I'll do is I'll sketch out like the highlighted areas first so the areas where there's going to be like the most light, I will kind of sketch that out. And um, so like, for instance, you know, I'll give you an example. So if we have light coming down from here on the top, all of those areas, I will start to throw light on those first. So this part of his arm should have some light on it because you see the lights coming from here and it would scatter kind of bounce off here and come onto this area so I'm gonna do this a little visualization for you guys to be able to see I'm gonna remember this is representing where our light is coming from so all the light areas should hit somewhere here I should draw a little arrow so it's not so confusing so here here and then I have another arrow here we're gonna have more light I mean, on this area, we'll just branch this off here. And then definitely we're going to have light that's going to be hitting on the gun. We'll have, um, I don't want to draw too many arrows, so I'll just put little X's. So we'll do some light here as well on the chest area. So I have some light there. And then we'll have more light here on the top part of the gun. And we're going to definitely put some light right here. And those these little marks can be anything. I mean, if you want to put like a like an L representing light or whatever, you can totally do that. Um, so yeah, so those are all the areas where the light is gonna be hitting for now. Um, we'll, we'll add on to that as we move forward, but um, we're gonna turn the opacity down on that just so it doesn't get in the way completely. And we're gonna go back to this layer. So this is currently our, our layer of, of light that we're, we're adding. Um, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and kind of fill this in Kind of fill that in. And what I'm gonna do now is I kinda, sometimes what I like to do is change or drop the opacity a little bit on it, just so we can sometimes still see the dark layer underneath, so we can kind of see those and the white isn't just too bright. So I'm just gonna kinda sketch right here. And I'm doing this very loosely, very loosely. Um, and we're just marking in 
these areas where the light is going to kind of be hitting. So just like so, we'll put some light here, and light here, and um, we're going to do a different color for the gun, so I'm not really going to bother with that right now. Um, but we'll eventually add the light onto the guns, but the guns are probably going to be black, so I don't want to use white right now for this. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another layer, and I'm actually going to drop the opacity on this one. Um, and I should probably, I should drop it a little bit more. There we go. So now I'm going to kind of start filling in the other areas right in here. This may look a little bit crazy to you guys, but uh, this is this is how it this is how I work. That's kind of how I do. So we'll go ahead and just fill that in because I come in later and do some stuff. I'm just gonna fill in all of this stuff right here, just like so. Fill that in. This is literally. Um, pretty much the method that I use for doing most of my stuff. Now, as you see, I just merged this layer and this layer together. So I'll merge those two. Now they're one. So I merge those. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to select black. And what I'm going to do is kind of start doing some of the I'm putting some of like the outlines for like where the where the armor is actually broken up into different pieces. So I'll do this. I know some sometimes some people they do this part first, but for me I like to do this um, kind of after I've done the silhouette work. For me, I just feel like I'm able to form it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna bring that up just like so. So if you if you're noticing, you can see how this is actually starting to form more into a character that has some some shape to it and not just the silhouette. So, and this leg is a little bit thicker, and I have a reason for that because I feel like I kind of want to add some stuff onto there. But we'll see. If, it, if I don't like it, then I'll probably just make it smaller like the other one. But yeah, so for now. We're just gonna do this. So these are those big shoulder pads that I was kind of talking about. It's right here, this is kind of a joint area. Just like so. And then with the helmet, I'm gonna actually make this a little bit thinner. And I believe that we're gonna have Little piece coming down right here in the middle it's kind of representing separation separation of the helmet um, and I kind of want to put like a, a cross piece right here for him to see out of it's kind of like a uh, kind of like those old uh, night helmets actually Oops. let's try that again just like so so we'll There you go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And uh, just kind of sketch this down right over here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop the opacity on this. Now you see that? You see it's because if it's really thick like this, you're going to spend more time trying to um, uh, do cleanup work. And you can go ahead and just make it thin like this. You can still kind of see the areas that you need to be careful around, but it's not going to, um, it's not going to look so harsh because that looks just way too harsh. So I like it when it's a little bit more, a little bit more thin like this. So I'm not going to merge this layer at all. I'm not going to merge that. Well, not at all, I should say. I'm not going to merge it right now. So what I'm actually going to do is we're just going to leave it just the way it is, just like that. And this layer... Okay, and this layer, I'm going to merge those two together. Okay, so now they're one. So as you can see, we still kind of have the outline. You can kind of see, you're like, oh, okay, it's a little bit of a character. 
Uh, and what I'm going to do now is create a new layer and we're going to go back in, make sure we have our, our brush selected. By the way, if you want to see the brush again that I have, I am using the clay roller. That is my favorite brush for uh, doing concept art. I just feel like it's a, it's a really good brush and it just, it, it just works for me just perfectly. I like it. I'm going to make this kind of dark right here. So this is going to kind of be like the, um, kind of the, like a, it's kind of a rubbery texture that kind of has like the creases and lines in it. You can tell like where the suit's able to bend in certain spots. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of make those just like so. Just adding them to all the areas where I feel like the suit should have it. So we'll do that. I think it'd be cool to have little ones kind of like up here in the kind of like the shoulder area between the shoulder and the, the neck. Just little areas like that. Also too, I guess we can have it come down about right in here. We'll just fill that area in just a little bit. We'll make this side a little bit thicker. There we go. That's pretty good. And uh, I kind of want to add some little darker spots right in here. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll do some little spots right down in here. Just like so. I think that looks good. And I'll probably drop the opacity on it just a little bit. Just like so. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer and we got to go back to kind of working on the light. So I'm going to touch and hold and select this color right here, but we're going to make it a little bit brighter. And we're going to kind of start filling in some of this area right here. Because we want light on there. We don't want it quite as bright as the light that's on the top. But this will kind of help add form to the armor. So different pieces of the armor. Just like so. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So we'll just, just kind of go just like so. We'll just do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and merge those ones together. Um, by the way, depending on your settings, you can set it so when your canvas is rotated, you can just double tap and then it will uh, readjust your, your, uh, your canvas size, which is really great. I, I like that feature. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, we still want to continue to add more pieces of armor onto this. And so what I kind of want to do is come over here. I'm going to go back to white. And I'm going to make this a little bit brighter. Oops. And then I'm going to turn the opacity down a little bit. That might be too much. And I'm going to make the top of this. Because remember, this is where the light is coming from, so we want this part to still always be the brightest because the light is hitting from the top. So I'll just kind of just do like so. Just like such. And a little bit more here on the, the shoulders. So I'm just going to make that a little bit brighter. Just like so. Okay, so... We just got that, so let's merge that together. Now, here's the next thing. So as you can see, we're really building this up, but we're going to duplicate this entire, the entire character right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna duplicate it. But before we do, we actually should probably go ahead and merge, and go ahead and merge these ones together as well. So we'll merge those two. And so now the whole thing is one piece. So I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna come over here to curve. And what I like to do is drop, make it darker. 
So you see you can go up, you can make it really bright, but I like to go darker. And the reason for that is because this is a very good way to start um, adding shadow to your character um, in a very quick way. So what I mean by that is if I grab my eraser, and by the way, the eraser that I have selected right now, actually I don't want the, um, I don't want this, this is an airbrush. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into favorites. Oh wait, I don't have any added to my favorites for that. So we'll go into paint. And let's scroll down and let's grab the sometimes i like to use this one the wet stucco roller so what i'm going to do is make my my brush a little bit bigger kind of adjust it right there and then i'm going to drop the opacity just a little bit now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start erasing certain spots of the armor this is the part that really kicks in to where you can really start to see the shadow work come into play. And the, the form of all of this, it really starts to, you can really see it to start to take form, which is, which is really great. And I think I'm going to make the opacity on this a little bit not as harsh, because it's a, I feel like it's a little bit harsh right now. So I'm just going to kind of keep coming down, erase. If you think of using the eraser more as a, a tool and not so much something that like, oh man, I made a mistake, um, you start to see it in a different way. So this part right here, because the light is coming down from the top, you see how I just kind of did that V angle? So we're doing that, and the reason for that is because the dark spot that you're seeing right in here, that still kind of represents the shadow of the uh, the helmet that's being cast down. So. You can do, you can erase a little bit right here and leave a little bit of a lip right there because the dark spot that you're seeing right here, that is like a shadow of this piece up here. So you kind of start thinking about those things when you, um, as you're working, it will just kind of start to, will start to become more obvious, like, oh, okay, I need to leave a spot right here because shadow is being cast up there. That's why it's always a good idea to kind of mark out the areas for where your light, um, where your light source is coming from. So, like, up there, that's where we have that light source coming from. That's always a, a very good thing to do. Okay. I'm going to kind of erase the top of the gun right here. Now you see how there's that different, we have two different colors right here. We have a really dark black and then we have like a more charcoal gray right there. Now that's going to help to kind of keep the form of our, um, of the guns that he's holding. So we're going to do the same thing. Erase on this side and then here. And you erase a little bit right in here. Just a little bit. I'm going to erase here, and a little bit right there, and just like such. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the opacity on the eraser a little bit more, and then I'm going to do kind of like the sides here of the helmet, just really loose brush strokes, not super heavy or anything, so I kind of like that look that it's got right now. Just like so. So we're just going to do the whole th whole thing, just kind of downward strokes. There we go. So it's coming together. So look at that. So you see that? So that's looking pretty good. So we're going to merge that together. And then what I'm going to do is, um, sometimes what I like to do is I like to come over here and grab the liquify tool and sometimes it's, it's good to start like pushing things in and kind of trying to straighten the drawing out a little bit especially when you're in an early stage like this so like I'm gonna I don't think we're gonna make this leg so thick so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of push it together and make it a little bit smaller just like so we can push this together the liquify tool is really good um, because it really helps you kind of just be able to uh, get control of like certain areas before you get too far into the drawing and you're like, man, like I should have, should have done a little bit, 
should have done this area a little bit different or so. So it gives you some room to wiggle. Some wiggle room, yeah. <laughs> so just kind of push this around a little bit. Just like so. I'm going to try to make the top of this gun a little bit more flat. And maybe push this in just a little bit. Just like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's push this over a little bit. I honestly love um, liquify tools. They're just, they're just good stuff. Through and through. Okay. So now we'll just hit OK. And so if we do undo, you can kind of see how things are kind of a little messy. Let me redo it. So kind of pushing things back together, which is looking kind of nice. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And what we're going to do with this layer is I'm going to I kind of want to continue to build out on the armor a little bit more, but what I'll do is kind of do a little bit of detailing so some areas don't kind of get uh, too lost. So we'll make sure we have the clay roller again. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And make sure you're always make sure you're on a new layer before you start adding things. Um, so you don't have to go back and recorrect things because that can be really frustrating at times. So I'm just drawing these little lines right here. Just like so. And I'm going to drop the opacity on them. So remember earlier I was talking about how these are going to kind of be like the the areas where in the armor where it's like able to like flex or bend. So we want that there. And then the same thing right here in the joints. So we want those there as well. And then right in here. And then also too we can put some right here kind of in the neck area. So I'll just have those kind of drop down just like so okay I think I was looking pretty good and then of course I'll put a few right in here just like so so if we were to take those away you can kind of see so we'll go ahead and merge those together and then what we'll do is we'll create a new layer and then you're gonna go on top of them again and then you're gonna kind of just highlight them a little bit so not the full length of what we just did, but little short ones because this is going to kind of represent like the shine, the little shiny area of the uh, where the light is hitting the most. And we're not going to put it on anywhere in this area. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit here on the sides. Put a little bit right here. So this is kind of like um, what you would call rim lighting because it just it kind of is the light that's kind of bouncing from like what could be in the in the back area or somewhere down over here. So and we're going to drop the opacity on that a little bit as well. We don't want that to be too strong, but you can see how it makes that stand out a little bit more, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and merge that together. Now, what we want to start doing is we really want to um, let the armor kind of like stand out even more. So um, now that we really have a good idea of what our character could look like, now is the time where you want to kind of start adding like um, things that will really, really kind of make it pop. So in order to do that, we're going to have to start drawing some, uh, some different areas to the armor. So this is kind of where you can start thinking about like, okay, how do I want the... I want this drawing to really start to pop more like how do I want the the character how do I really want it to stand out so for instance let's let's maybe make this uh, right over here this piece of armor can kind of like have like an overhang to it just a little bit kind of fill that in you can kind of drop the opacity on it just a tad bit yeah just like that I think that looks good we're going to do the same thing over here. And a lot of times I, I, I just add stuff on and I just build, I just build up, you know, I just start building onto it. 
So as you can see, we just made this come out more, which that's looking pretty good. And you're you're always it's never too late to like blend things together. You can always always blend. So don't worry too much if things kind of look a little funky to you. Um, you can always blend it. So we'll bring this out. And then here, I kind of want this piece, I kind of want this to come up actually higher than what we had. And also too, we want to um, put here, so this, maybe this is where the thumb will be, big part of the thumb. And then we want his trigger finger is right in here, and then the rest of his fingers can kind of come right over here. So. Just like so. That's looking pretty good. Also, too, very important, save. <laughs> just, we, we hadn't really saved anything since we've been working on this, so um, we'll just kind of go ahead and close this in right here. And we can also make it look kind of like, maybe like this part is like latched on and wrapping around his arm. So we can kind of do it just like so. And we'll do the same thing right over here, so... Kind of like a piece of armor that clips onto um, onto him. So yeah, so we'll do that, and then we'll add here. See, we'll add we'll add um here like he's kind of got like a like a pocket or something. We can maybe put like some kind of weapons or something into into that, and then we'll do the same thing on this side as well. So we can kind of just add. Right over here and then we'll do another one right here so just like so because we really want this to be a bulkier character so it's like a very very uh just the you you call this guy in to like really get stuff done so you can call him the uh <laughs> the enforcer or something some crazy name there we go that's looking good um, I'll take that same color actually and I'll just apply it right in here because now we're starting to get to the point where we can kind of start making more decisions like that with the color making it a little bit brighter and I'll just add a little bit a little bit right here so I'd say that's looking pretty decent I add some right here that looks good Perfect. So, what I want to do though is, um, here, let's take that away. See how much better that looks? That looks so much better. He just he looks so bulky and intense. Um, and what I want to do though is, uh, this eye piece that we have here, I kind of want to turn this into um, a color that we have here. So, now let's see. Here's the cool thing. Do we want just a line going across where the light's coming out or do we want to make it a little more scary with his eyes kind of like that I kind of like that look honestly I kind of like this let's just go with this for right now you can always change it nothing has to be uh locked into stone or whatever so we'll just uh we'll just go with that for right now so let's go ahead and leave that now what I want to do is in the back in the back of him, I kind of want it to look like there's more um, body behind him. So, because right now it kind of looks like everything is just right here um, in the front. So, what I'm going to do is actually get rid, get rid of those lines first. And I'm going to select all black for right now, because this is usually what I do. And we're going to make it look like the rest of the, there's more body that kind of goes around the back of him right here. So we'll just do just do something kind of like that. Just like so. So maybe he's maybe it's like the rest of his armor in the back he has like some kind of like jetpack on or something. So I'll just kind of go like that. So I think that looks better. Just just adding that little bit. I think that looks better. So let's go ahead and merge that together. And then um, 
what I want to do is actually around uh, his waist, I kind of want to put like a belt. So we'll just do this. We'll just kind of add like a little pouch right here. And he's got some more tools and stuff in there. So we'll just add add that in. These pouches can be pretty much any size. It just depends on the kind of content that this dude is uh, carrying with him. So that kind of helps to add and beef him up a little bit, make him a little bit more tough and intense looking. And uh, something I really like to do um, in a lot of my drawings where I'm having like robotic looking uh, characters, I always like to have, um, at least coming from one of the guns, I like to sometimes add like some cords or wires or something. Now this needs to be completely behind because you see how that's in front, we don't want that, so we just want that to be behind. So it looks like something, maybe he's carrying something on his back that's actually powering the weapon that he has. And um, we can put a little, you see as I just made a new layer, and the reason I did that is because I'm going to bring this part in here of the backpack, I'm going to bring it up a little bit right over here. And all I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to duplicate that little piece that I drew, and I'm going to come over here to the basic, and I'm going to flip it and pull it right over here. It's very easy to um, just do that. And then I'll just take those two and merge those together. And then we'll just merge the entire drawing together. So, except for the eyes and like the cord stuff. So, perfect. So now, now that it's coming together more, um, something else that I really like to do is to really try to start um, sometimes recorrecting things that I feel like are just completely off. So for instance, like we have this line right here, um, but this one's way up here. So what I can do is just kind of like cover this piece back in and maybe we can even restructure it a little bit. So that side looks pretty decent. So we're not gonna mess with that one too much, but um, so we'll just do that. And then what I'll do, so there we go, it looks decent. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll just like have and hold so like this color, make this a little bit smaller and just try to bring this a little bit more closer, closer in on what this side looked like. So let's kind of do that. And I'm actually going to start doing that with all of the pieces. So we'll just do that right in here. Again, we're just kind of doing that separation and making these plates on the armor stand out. A little bit more so that looks see that see how we just added that that looks really good um so this piece right in here keep your eyes right here i'm gonna get rid of that keep your eyes there and when i get rid of that see how we have now we have that little shadow dropping from the top lip of that armor we'll do the same thing on this side now we'll do kind of the same thing right in here just like so We'll put a little bit of separation here with the pouch on the leg. Doing the uh, separation period is, is, is really good because that's what really helps you keep the form of what you've got going on. So you don't, so stuff doesn't get lost because you, de you definitely don't want that. You don't want all of your pieces to start getting lost together and you're just like, oh man, like it's looking weird. So I just select the black because I'm going to make this side um, a little bit wider and we'll curve that in right here so that's looking pretty good so let's see how's it look without that yeah see see we're able to correct that and straighten it out a little bit okay so now what I'm gonna do is um, actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and merge those eyes and we'll go ahead and merge that layer together with the cord so we'll do that now i'm going to make a new layer and uh, as you guys can probably tell at this point it's literally just a lot of um building things up so you start off with the really basic like like i showed you pretty much like a silhouette and then i just i start to build up from that layer after layer after layer after layer and start to build up um but i kind of want to put some more light here on the top of the head because I don't want this to get too 
to the loss. Now, as you can see, you know, kind of putting a little bit of light that's kind of being scattered down on the sides of the helmet as well. And also a little bit right here. And this is kind of what creates that really cool kind of like shine look to where it looks like the armor is like, like light's actually hitting on it. So just little spots, um, I start to just come in right here. And I'm just, I practically just do that on the entire um, outer sides of the character. This also helps too with um, the drawing not getting too lost. So remember, if you're looking too at the arrows that we drew, I'm hitting pretty much all the spots that we um, originally had for like where the light's supposed to be hitting. So, which is great. That's really good stuff. So I'll do a little bit right here. And just like so. I think that's looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is we'll put a little a little bit more right here. And if I take that away, you see how much of a difference that really makes? It's pretty cool. So we can actually turn it down a little bit though. We don't want it to be um, too intense and okay, there we go. So I think that looks you see, you can see the difference. And so we'll just turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna merge that together. And then a lot of times what I like to do is duplicate the entire drawing again. And I just noticed that we have a little spot that needs to be erased. Hold on real quick. I saw it when I just duplicated that. So we have that spot right there. And then on this layer, there's that spot too. Okay, I had to get rid of that. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna come back over here into curves. And I'm going to drop this down a little bit more. And as you can probably start to see, it's starting, our drawing is looking more and more three-dimensional. And sometimes I'll come over here to, we have the RGB right over here. So I'll come over here and start messing with these uh, colors just a little bit, just adding little, little tints. I don't think we want, uh, we don't want the purple tint. So I would be more willing to add a little bit more green to it. And then the blue can kind of mess around and just kind of see. Kind of digging the, the blue tone a little bit. So we'll go with that. And I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Maybe about right there or so. And I'm going to come back in with the eraser. And let's see, we still have, we have the wet stucco roller for the eraser. So I'm going to bring that in or make this a little bit bigger, just a little bit, and then drop the opacity on it a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier. I think I need to make this a little bit smaller. I feel like it's a little too big. Just like so. And we're just going to start erasing over certain spots of it again. See, when you duplicate that, the, the entire drawing like how we just did, and then you start adding in the little spots, what it does is it really does help out with adding um, shadow, like adding in a whole nother layer of shadow without you having to like really like manually draw it in. Also too, if you look closely, this spot right here, these little light spots, you kind of erase over those because that's going to give it a little bit more... Um, a little bit more form on those and I'm going to put a little bit erase a little bit right here So as you do this more and more frequently you'll start to just pick up and you'll be like, okay, so I see the spots that I want to um, add more light on or uh, you know, the areas that maybe don't need it as much. Like, you'll you'll start to be able to tell, but you just have to start messing around, and you just have to just continue to practice doing this. And eventually, um, it will just kind of start to become second nature to you. And the other thing that's very important, too, is to just have patience. Let's go on, let's save. There we go. Yeah, you have to have patience. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like... 
Um, sometimes you have a feeling and you just want your drawing to just, you know, be working on just for a few minutes and then you're just like, oh man, everything's looking great. Like, um, and you'll have days like that where that will happen, but it's very important to just realize that it, it, everything is, takes patience, takes a lot of patience. So we'll just continue just like so. Perfect. Let me just erase that a little bit. So as you can see, this has come quite a ways from the original just kind of outline sketch we had of the character. So you can see that. And now we've got that on it. So that looks a lot better. So that looks kind of flat. That's adding more detail, more dimension onto um, the character. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go um, over here. Let me go back because I just merged this layer and this layer together. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> that looks really cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to merge. Actually, before I merge, let's just try playing around with the, the, the opacity on it. So I think, I think that looks pretty good. And I'll go to curves real quick and just kind of... Let's try messing around with some other colors. I, I do this all the time just before I make like a, a final decision on like, okay, I'll go with that one because I just want to see, you know, how will stuff look. Oh, that kind of looks cool. It's kind of got a green tint. But um, we'll go with this for right now. So I just merged those two together. And I'm going to come over here. And now it's the whole drawing. So as it's now there's the whole drawing a lot of times you're going to get more of a uh the entire drawing is going to start to change colors more instead of just like we had that top layer that was changing now like all of it's um changing to blue but what i actually want to do is click over here on y so this one i can add kind of more like make the lighting more harsh and then make the shadows a little bit more intense so we can kind of go with that that kind of looks good so um i'll accept it and then sometimes what i like to do is hit undo and redo undo and redo so it kind of gives me an idea of like how did it look before and um currently right now i feel like it's it's kind of good where it is right now so we're just going to kind of leave that and um we can go ahead and save I'm gonna save this again and uh, there's still a lot that we need to do to continue to build this out um so what I'm going to do is there's a few things too that we don't want to get lost. So I'm going to come over here and make sure that we have our what's um uh, sorry our clay roller. We're going to make sure that we have that again, and we're going to make sure the opacity is turned all the way up. And we're going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to zoom in, and these little parts here. Oops, we have the wrong color. Let's select black. And come over here, and we want these to be dark again. We're going to make those stand out just like so. And the other thing that I want to do is this area right here. I kind of want to draw this and make this stand out more as well. So I'm just going to bring this all the way around. And I'm not worried right now about the, the eyes because we're nowhere near done with those. So, um, it's okay if you accidentally go over those a little bit and they kind of look like they get lost. It's really easy to fix. Um, technically, all you would have to do is just tap and hold and then just make those a little bit more rounded, just like so. Double tap, and there you go. But um, I'm actually going to drop the opacity on this just a little bit. And then there we go. So see, that's how it looked before. That's how it's looking now. So that's looking a lot better. But... Um, yeah, we'll actually go ahead and merge those together. I think that's looking good. Now, something else that I will do is if you look closely right around this area, I want that to stand out a little bit more. So I'm actually going to select white and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to make sure that I'm on a new layer and I'm going to kind of trace over this right here. Just like so. And then I'm going to do the same thing on these little parts right here. I'm 
just like so and i'm going to drop the opacity on that so it kind of makes them look a little bit more like they're rough like a little rough around the edges um and we're going to eventually we're going to do that with all of this but i just want those to kind of start off right now because i don't want those to get lost and then also too what we're going to do is i'm going to select the bright color up here and i'm going to kind of erase that original line that we had there and get rid of that just like so so we're gonna get rid of that one and um probably probably won't worry about erasing the other one right there well actually here let's let's go ahead and get rid of that one might as well we're doing the, the top we might as well get the bottom too so we'll just kind of erase over that there we go so that kind of looks cool and uh, so we can take that away, we can see what looks better. It's a little more cleaned up, a more polished put together. Okay, so I'm liking the way this is looking. He's looking pretty intense. It's a pretty tough looking dude. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to, I kind of feel like there needs to be like a, a centerpiece right here. And I'm kind of seeing um, some more like gold, some more like gold colors. So I don't know exactly if I want it to be the same gold as like the eyes, but um, here, let me show you. So this little triangle, this little piece right here, this is great. Okay, so I'm going to drop the opacity on that a little bit. Just like so, because I, I I feel like there needs to be like a, a chest middle piece, kind of a, like that's where like the power source is. But I'm not sure, and kind of, I like the gold, but I kind of want to make this, I don't know, if maybe it should be a different color. Also too, we can come in here to actual color, not just the curves, but we can select hue right over here, and we can just like, change the colors right there and just kind of look and see like, well, what looks better, you know? Does this look better? Um, we can change the saturation, uh, the contrast. Uh, we, can make the, we can make it brighter, we can make it darker. That's a little bit closer. And we can just make it bright like, like that. Um, but yeah, so for now, we'll just leave it at that. I'll actually drop the opacity on there a little bit because we're gonna we'll, we'll we'll revisit it and let's see actually maybe it should be just be the same dark orange as like the eyes that might kind of look at first i didn't think it would look that great but i'm actually kind of kind of filling it a little bit more just kind of oops i'll just kind of go over that and kind of clean that up a little bit Okay, that works for now. Um, <laughs> it works for now. But uh, what I want to do is I'm going to end the video right here. This is going to be part one, and then in part two we'll continue with the uh, with the drawing, and we'll just continue to add more and more detail on this until we get this onto um, a really nice level of uh, detail. And then we'll we'll do something in the background to kind of get that. Uh, you know, because we can't just have this character here and then no background or anything. I mean, we could, but we won't. Um, but something that does help before I end this video, um, speaking of the background, something that can kind of help you um, not feel so lost or sometimes it can help even add just like more dimension to the drawing is to add a, kind of like a gradient fill to the drawing. So let's see if we select like the background color and I just get like a darker... A much darker version of it and make my brush really big for this and we're just going to scribble right here just going to scribble all of this let's scribble it just like so and then um, what i'm going to do is going to come over here to filters i'm going to select blur and then i'm just going to blur that out nicely and then I'm going to drop the opacity on it, just so it adds a little bit of um, form. 
little bit more texture to the background. So it's not just so it's not so blank, you see? So it kind of helps the drawing stand out a little bit more. So it looks like there's actually some depth into the picture. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and I will uh, continue with you in the next portion of the video. Alrighty.